I'm Charlie Walton, Senior Field Service Engineer at BPM Microsystems. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a 9th gen programming site. Tools you'll need are an SAE Allen wrench set, wire cutters or nippers for tie rack, and possibly a quarter inch wrench for removing the T posts. So to power down the sites you'll need to close BP Wind and I also recommend to turn off power to the machine as well. Okay, the first thing to do is remove the T-posts. There's two ways to do this. The T-posts should be uh, removable lock tighted in, but sometimes you can remove it with this top screw. In this case, I can. If you cannot do that or the screw starts to separate from the standoff, uh, disassembling the whole T-post, you can use a quarter inch wrench, one of which we supply with the machine on delivery and just hit the uh, flat spots on the standoff and then you can remove the, uh, the T-post. Next we'll take uh, an Allen wrench and we'll remove the four corner screws for the top cover plate. Some flat head screws. Once these are removed, cover plate lifts right off. Let's set that aside with the screws. Okay, underneath those screws there are four little standoffs, little aluminum standoffs. You'll need to remove these by hand, otherwise they could fall inside the machine. And set those aside. Then we have four corner screws. These are also flat heads. We'll need, need to remove those. And with those removed, we're going to take the T-posts and we're going to go ahead and screw those back in. Just a few turns, it doesn't have to be all the way in. And they're going to act as handles for us to pull the side out. We'll lift straight up, try not to rock it, it may be a tight fit, you should be able to lift it straight up. And don't jerk on it, because you can pull some things loose underneath and damage the side. You'll see here underneath, power connector, USB communication cable. There's a power connection, just push in the tab and it pops right out. And then there's a micro USB connector, we'll disconnect that. And there we have the site. Okay? To replace the site, it's just the reverse order of that. Maybe you had to replace the stepper motors. That is really the only user replaceable parts on the site are the stepper motors. Two screws and then two connectors, one for each motor. Okay, so we will install the micro USB connector on the edge of the board here. You'll feel that kind of snap into place. Then you'll take the power connector, it goes only one way, snap that into place sure it's good and snug. We'll flip the site back over and we'll set it back in nice and gentle straight down. We have to wiggle it just a little bit. There we go straight on in. So let's go ahead and remove the T-posts because they have to be removed to put our cover plate on. We'll reinstall the four corner screws and snug those down. These do not have to be tight. They just need to be snug. In the business, this is what we call, this is what we call low torque. This is what we call high torque. We do not need to high torque these screws. After that, we need to install the standoffs, one at each corner, two at 
to accommodate the coming screws. And then the cover plate slides down over these white bushings for the T-posts. Then we can install the four corner screws for the cover plate. Snug those down. And just snug. Lastly, we'll put the T post back on. Remember, there is a left and a right. The left is longer and has a pin, the pin goes toward the front. screw down and you can take your wrist to do a final snug and do not over tighten or you can break the shaft of the motor you want it to be tight enough so that vibration they do not work loose and your pressure plate would pop up and have a collision with the head you want to avoid that that's why we put a little bit of lock tight on there to keep them from backing off on their own Okay, let's power on, unlock our emergency stop, power enable button, and then we'll start BP Win. Okay, you want to make sure that the site that you installed is communicating. Uh, you can look at the site visually and make sure that the green LED is lit. You can also check on the configuration line at the bottom of BP Win and make sure that all the sites are communicating. At this point, there's a good opportunity to run diagnostics on the site and make sure that everything is working correctly. Uh, I also recommend that you use one of the diagnostic cards installed on the site to run the diagnostic test. Okay, and the site passed diagnostics, and that is how to remove and replace a night shift programming site. Thank you.